Hey everyone, DokiPen here. I just thought I'd uh, show off something I've been working on in Unreal Engine. Uh, this is a atmospheric fog setup using GPU sprites. Uh, it's um, it's a pretty simple setup really. I've just got this one um, particle system with fixed bounds. So I can open up the, the particle system here and just show the, um, the fixed bounds here. Yep. And it's something I can't change because if I change the bounds, then you can kind of see that the initial location gets reseeded. So it's something I'm um, looking into right now, but it's kind of restricted to you know single use areas. Uh, so it's yeah, it's GPU sprites, um, single material. I'll show you the material briefly. It's pretty simple. It's just got this um, this sort of cloudy texture that I generated in Maya and. It is a translucent material, so it kind of uh, fades off at the edge with a radial gradient. And I've also got this distance blend, which uh, takes in the distance to camera. And I've got it set up so that the closer to camera the um, the sprite is, then it will fade away, so you don't see it clip through the camera. So you, if you, I don't know if you can see this on the video, but I'm getting nearer to the sprite, and as it gets nearer, then it fades off, kind of help that transition. Um, so it's kind of um, you know an isolated use case here where you can use it in a restricted area. Um, you might be able to kind of daisy chain these and uh, you know have multiple of them, but the more you the more you have, then the more expensive it's going to be. If I check out the the shader complexity here, if I just get in the volume and look at the shader complexity, then you can see how much overdraw I'm getting from these translucent sprites. Where down here, where there's no sprites, you know, really fast performance, and here, it's probably taking up a lot of the um, uh, power from the graphics card to be able to draw these. Um, so you know, it's not something you can just use in any game, and it'd be nice and fast. You know, I'm running this on a on a beefy machine, so it runs pretty well. But um, yeah, I've got you know, I've just got an initial rotation um, with a random distribution on it. So we get kind of a nice swirling kind of motion, make it look you know like a slow fog kind of thing. I, I worked on a film project recently uh, where there was lots of slow moving fog, so I thought I'd try and see if I can get a similar effect in Unreal. But uh, I don't know if you, I can show you if I pop outside of the uh, the bounds of the particle system, system, they all disappear. And then let's pop back in. There you go, and then you pop back on. So again, you know you can it's if it's carefully placed and you're being careful with it, then you know it might be something that's um, that might be possible to be used in a game. But you know, for now, I'm just going to investigate optimizations and see if there's any way I can get this to perform better. Because if I do uh, stat FPS, and yeah, I'm getting like um, it's going down to 40 FPS there, so it's not the fastest effect. But you know, I might be able to reduce the amount of particles and make the sprites bigger. Have and try some animated um, textures to try and uh, get some more interesting movement in there. But you know, you kind of get the basic idea. Okay, I just thought I'd make a quick video and show that off. And um, thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.